Now, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel, we've talked about the negatives of sports media and how on cable television, and now they're pushing that onto Twitter and the internet, how bad it's gotten for clicks and views and stuff like that. I haven't talked about a guy that actually left national sports media as a whole because of these things. And that's what we're doing here today. Today, we're talking about why Marcellus Wiley left the national sports media and really the one reason why he did it. He has other reasons for it, but we're going over one of the reasons here today. So sit back, relax, and let's dive straight into it. Now, before we get started with this, I need to first preface this. I'm not saying that this is the main reason why he left. I want to make that clear. I don't want to take what he said out of context. I'm going to show you exactly what he said. He put it right on his Twitter account, and he talked about it on his podcast. And the thing is with Marcellus Wiley, do I agree with him entirely with all of his sports takes? No, I, I don't. However, he's genuine in why he left, why he thinks some of this stuff's laughable, and ultimately... I respect him for that. Like, listen, you're coming out saying this is one of the reasons why I left. And, you know, it's not because it had to deal with what he said about the particular player he talked about. It's just the transparency is what I appreciate. So let's listen to what he had to say, and then we'll dive straight into it. LaShawn McCoy, Shady, had a quote out there. Y'all saw it. Went viral. Why Dak is ass. I think that's a quote, too. <clears throat> why Dak is ass. Good Lord, where are we now in sports media? This is one reason why I left. Dak is ass. One, that's just, that's just a damn lie. Two, is wrong and a damn lie. <laughs> but three, it just reeks of the thirst that media right now has for attention to go viral. To get ratings. Now, Sh Shady, my dog. So, you know, I'm going to keep it real. But my stomach turns when I watch these shows, when I do watch these shows. But, man, come on, ballers. Come on, especially ex-players. Like, we giving in, dog. We Y'all can't give in to the cats who didn't play and just draw it up. Say, yeah, just be shock jock. But that's just a label to throw out there for you to go fetch. Don't do that, Shady, man. You're way better than that. Because that kind of commentary certainly is ass and that is exactly one of the reasons why sports media in general on cable television is dying because they have to do this type of format in order to generate likes clicks and all that other stuff and that's the problem is that i don't think that's going to be a surefire sustainable model as we move further and further into the 2020s into the 2030s because cable television is dying, right? You know, we're moving into the age of full-on digital streaming and stuff like that. And you're seeing it. Like, you have the Rich Eisen show going out on, I believe, the Roku channel. And, you know, Peacock and stuff like that. That is the way of how most of these talk shows are going. In fact, there are some media analysts like Nick Wright, for example, who has his own channel you know, separate from Fox Sports, and what he's been doing is, you know, a lot of the times, you know, he just speaks his mind, and the thing is, is that it's because of what the four-letter networks are looking for. They're looking for the clicks, likes, attentions, and stuff like that so that they can generate revenue, and that's not something crazy to say. That's just how it is, and I think really the downfall of sports media really began with first take becoming a thing. When Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless came together, that was the model. Like, that was the trailblazing model for all of the shows you see today. And ultimately, that's where it is at this point in time, is that you have seen this model replicate itself, and now you're having more and more former players join the bunch, but now that they're trying to etch a name for themselves after their playing career is over, you're seeing these instances where those that actually want to enter the sports media for legitimate purposes of actually doing good work, some of it's just, you know, this isn't just football, guys. This is also the NBA, MLB, hockey. Like, this is a lot. 
the reason why football is more so amplified in this is because football is the king thing here in America, right? We know that, you know? And so the way that I am looking at it is that Marcellus Wiley is right. These dumb takes, and as we get closer and closer and closer to 2030, you could be in a situation where, yeah, these shows will still exist. I'm not saying that they're not going to exist. The problem is, is that the new media, like you're seeing these podcast networks start, you're seeing these channels start, like you have people like myself that do it independently and just record on a microphone and software and explain why we have problems, our opinions, this, that, and a third. And you're starting to see, and I've seen this comment numerous times in my comment section. Hey, Space Cowboy, I watch you way more than ESPN. Or when I'm calling them out, and you're like, bro, like you're being really reasonable to the point to where, like, I'm shocked that you're not on these shows. And I'm like, the reason why is because I don't like being handcuffed, handcuffed, excuse me, by a network and saying I had to say certain things. That's bullshit. I should have the right to say whatever the damn well I want. And at the end of the day, you know, I don't have a problem if I had to have a show that's on a particular network. My problem is, is if you're telling me to have me say X, Y, and Z, I'm not doing that bullshit. I'm not. So that's just my honest to God opinion of the matter. Now, with that being said, I do firmly believe, however, that the new formula will be the way of podcasting the way of going through YouTube and Twitter. That's just the new age, guys. And you're, you kind of started seeing those wheels churn when uh, the pandemic was really big. And I think that that's just going to be the way forward. And I understand that I'm going on and on and on about this. But again, I have to be fully transparent with you guys and let you know. That the reason why sports media is dying is exactly one of the reasons why is what Marcellus Wiley pointed out. You have people saying ridiculous shit all the time for attention. And that is exactly why this is a problem. Like, again, this isn't just in football. And, you know, the thing is, is then you also have these guys acting so unhinged on Twitter. When I say unhinged, I'm not saying they're crazy. But it's like there was an instance where it was like Emmanuel Acho and LaShawn McCoy went at Eli Apple's mother because Eli Apple's mother took exception to why he... Like, she had an understandable right to be pissed. Hey, you're talking about my son, yet you didn't do a whole lot. Like, I get where she's coming from. And again, we all have, are entitled to our opinions at the end of the day because, you know, her son does play football. And, you know, that's just the real truth of the matter. But, like, it's just... I think these we, we forget the human realm of things. Like when you have Stephen A. Smith telling Dak Prescott's dad, oh, your son's going to lose and he's going to suck on national television. That's not cool, bro. Like that really isn't. Like, you know, again, sports are a different realm because you're put into a public spotlight and your performance matters. You're constantly in a job interview type of process and you're always trying to build your resume. But... Again, I think that it is kind of annoying that we forget the human realm of things where we, we as people, you know, we forget that the things we say can affect people. Oh, Space Cowboy, stop saying that. You're being really weak and stuff. Like, No, like seriously, if you tell someone they suck, not everybody can take it well. And, you know, that's kind of a real big thing in this day and age because of the spotlight. And we as people need to do a better job but you know, analyzing that. Like, again, I have talked about certain individuals like Kelvin Joseph and stuff where I felt like they played like shit. And I'll tell you that they play like shit. And I'm not going to stop that. But not to be hypocritical, it's just at the same time, even myself, I got to understand that, listen, these are people. <laughs> these are people. And I think that's really the big end of it. So I got work to do as well. And I'm no exception. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Marcellus Wiley, for the honesty and transparency there. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your entire day. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.